Okay, update on the chicken. This is kind of, well, it's a mess right now. This is my garden house, if you guys have looked at it. Um, is what I did is I put the little brooder box out here, which was a dog crate, one of those hard plastic dog crates. It's right there. You can see it amongst all the stuff. The, see the green dog crate? Right there. I used that as a brooder box, put the heat lamp on the metal door. They loved it. And let me see. Whoop. Alrighty. So, this was my garden house, and I put the brooder box when I moved them out. You can see where the heat lamp is. When I moved them out here, they went to town. They pulled every single weed out of my garden. They shredded the hay that I had lining the garden and broke it all down. And I kept them out here for, oh, about 10 days. And now, this is going to be my in-ground garden. This I'm going to plant it today. Take all this stuff out and plant it today because I've moved the chickens. Here is the um, billboard. And <laughs> fun, fun. It's, that's a billboard. Got it from a neighbor. Offered him 20 bucks. He didn't want it. And it's only a, a portion of a billboard. It's like maybe a third of one those suckers are huge and you know i was kind of bummed at first when he said well it's already caught up i used part for this and part for that but you can have this part and when i had to fold you know fold that thing up and wrestle it into my car it was a whole i was so glad that it was not an entire billboard it was heavy, 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 heavy. So this is what I did with the grates. I've got my garden. I'm not done yet, but there's my garden. Going to be my in-ground garden. And I initially put, and there's the mailman. Um, I initially put the kitchen chicken run <laughs> kitchen run. Isn't that so accurate? I had planned on putting the chickens right along the edge see right there but the measurements for those eight foot panels i didn't want to have to cut them wasn't going to work and then i figured the chickens can reach their heads out six or eight inches maybe longer when they're full grown and be able to eat out of the garden and I didn't want that so when it was all done I had not mowed this area at all as you can see I had not mowed it thinking leave it for food for the chickens it's lots and lots of dandelions and um, oh, tons of clover and grasses a mix of different kinds of grasses and a mix of there's some hay in there and there's some alfalfa growing in there so, um, but this is what I have so far. It's a square two foot by two foot cage that starts here. And I put that corner piece up because the working the pieces down had to go longer um, on the outside, of course, in order to accommodate the two foot square inside. And I did not want to cut these panels because this is temporary. I'm using it for this year. My intentions when I got there and realized it wasn't just to see this corner panel, that's what I was going to do with it, is I was going to stand a couple of them up in a corner of my garden and use them for growing plants on. But when I got there and he had over 30 of them, I decided to use them to build a dog run, make eight foot by eight foot panels, four feet high. Um, and I'm still going to do that. But for right now, I needed a chicken run. And I cannot put the post on this property because I still don't have title to it. I'm buying it from the government. And the government is slow. Then the pandemic. So the government is actually closed. So right now, I'm in limbo. And this is temporary. 
but if you can tell it's a square and it completely surrounds three sides of my garden and then my garden house is at the other end and see I have a cutesy little gate there I haven't figured out what exactly I'm going to do with that yet but I'm in the midst of putting up a chicken coop but once you just see see I zip stripped them I'm gonna have to hit the white ones with a little bit of black spray paint so they don't stand out and I've still got to do the clipping so I just got it done last night but Here's the hens, and that one, I'm pretty sure he's a rooster, but I'm not a chicken person, but I swear he crowed like, I think I've heard him crow three times now. Not a very good crow, but he appears to be trying, and I'm pretty sure he's a rooster. What do you think? Is that a rooster? I was told to look at the feathers, that rooster feathers are not rounded, a hen's feathers are rounded. That's my Rhode Island Red. I'm so creative with names, I call her Red. And that one on the ground, the little white one, she is um, Egg Biscuit. This one I haven't named because again, I. Not sure if it's male or female, but every day looks more and more like a rooster to me. So you guys let me know. This one, the Wyandotte Lace, has no name as of yet. Personality really hasn't come through. They kind of avoid me. Um, the red, the Rhode Island red. Now this is Pancake. Hey Pancake! Come here Pancake! Pancake is just the sweetest chicken you ever wanted to meet. Pancake likes to be picked up. She likes for me to carry her around. And she was kind of the runt of the litter. I guess you'd call it. Or the flock. Um, this one with the beautiful blue-gray right there. Oh, she's gorgeous. Look at those feathers. I call her Cappuccino. I named her before she'd fully feathered out and it's stuck. That's my Rhode Island Blue. And I call her Blue because I'm really creative like that. <laughs> I need a white chicken. Anybody have a white chicken so that I can have red, white, and blue? Um, so those are the two, well, the red just walked in. Those were the two wine dot lace. That's Pancake. And Pancake, I think, is an Americana. Yes. And the white ones, I don't know what the white and black ones are. Um, one is called Egg Biscuit and one is called Egg McMuffin. And um, I don't know what kind of birds they are and they are enjoying a watermelon this morning i put it out here to draw them out in the run because they were all kind of clustered up in a corner not doing anything so i wanted to encourage them to get out i did not give them breakfast because they're not going into the coop at night and so i didn't put down any feed just some water and today I figure, um, whoops, I'm shadowing my own camera. So today I figure uh, I will give them feed in the evening in order to get them back into their coop because they're, I may not be able to get them. But they do seem, they do seem to enjoy it. They love the grass. I am just so bummed because I left this grass super tall for them, but I figure when I mow it or pull it, I'm going to give it to them. So that's the update from my alley shopping and what I've accomplished with it. Now I'm on to build the actual coop because I got distracted on doing the chicken run. But you know, when you live in the city and you start collecting stuff to build something with, um, you can start looking like a junkyard real quick. And this was piled up on my fence in my driveway. 
next to my driveway and it was really making the place look shabby so I've utilized it temporarily until I need it that's why I didn't cut any pieces I just kind of worked with what I had and now I've got to mow the lawn I've got to get my garden in and I've got to do something to get this cutesy little gate up I've got to do something with the cattle panel that's right there. Oh, and I have the dog cage out because I used it in connection when the chicks were little. I had the dog crate with the heat lamp set up for that. And then this was attached to it with the floor in it. And I put bedding in it so that um, they had a large space because there were 10 chicks and I didn't know how, I didn't think that the uh, pet porter would and that's their little bells I give them bells you know uh, funny I would ring the bell when I feed them and then they would ring the bell when they wanted to eat but the pet porter is for a German Shepherd and a full-size German Shepherd but 10 birds in there they still all go in there at night I've tried to divide them up, and they won't do it. They still all go in there, but I'm going to try to make them a coop today, something better than that.